All right, welcome to episode 47 of the Two Minute Warning. Today, we're going to be talking about the Offensive Rookie of the Year race. Uh, Jay, who do you got on your list so far at this point in the season? <clears throat> um, I mean, there's several rookies that have created big names for them just because of big games, like Chase Claypool, Henry Ruggs had a big game. Two is now just in it because he's starting, but the clear leaders are obviously Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, Justin Jefferson, and Clyde Edwards Hilaire for me. Yeah, my three, my top three of that list are, are Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, and then I think Clyde Edwards Hilaire in that three spot is doing a fantastic job with the Chiefs. I think uh, Clyde, Clyde Edwards Hilaire is doing a real good <laughs> job, but I think right now the most valuable player to their team is going to be Joe Burrow. I think without him, uh, the Bengals would be nowhere near. They're not even that good right now, but they'd be nowhere near what they are right now. So I think uh, he's made the most impact on his team. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm gonna have to you know agree with that. You know, I think for me, Joe Burrow is my rookie of the year. Um, I think it's it's tight between him and Justin Herbert because Herbert's been outstanding as a rookie. But I mean, you just look at what Burrow's doing right now: two thousand plus passing yards. Um, just really balling out right now for this Bengals team. He just led them to a huge win over the Titans. And it's just, like, stunning to me. I've, I've never seen a guy be so, like, hyped up in college, hyped up, like, so NFL-ready and just start shining immediately in this moment. Um, and, and, I mean, props to Justin Herbert, too, because he's, you know... Both great quarterbacks. He's, he's lived up to the hype as well for himself. It, and I just think that, yeah, yeah, I mean, Herbert is... Outstanding, but I'm gonna give it to Burrow the slight edge right now. But we'll, we'll yeah. see as the season unfolds. Yeah, that's a, you make a good point. Um, both Justin Herbert, and Joe Burrow playing great football. Both front runners, in my opinion, for the offensive rookie of the year. Um, just take a look at their stats. Joe Burrow's got Herbert in yards by about 400, um, but Herbert has four more touchdowns and, in my opinion, the better football team that he's playing for and, and leading to some wins. So in that sense. It's very difficult to see who's going to win, uh, and then from the running back spot, I got Edward Solaire as the really the only the only rookie running back in contention at all. Um, yeah. the, you Jags mentioned guy. earlier the Jags quarterback James running Robinson. Back. James Robinson, running back. Running back. sorry, running back um, was in contention early in the season, but that team has kind of fallen off. Um, and then from the receiver spot between Ceedee Lamb, Jerry Judy, Henry Ruggs, those are, and Justin Jefferson, those are four very talented receivers. I think if if it happens to go to a receiver, it's going to be. Um, between C.D. Lamb or Justin Jefferson, both very similar stats, um, right around 500, 550 yards for both of them. But Justin Jefferson has less catches and more touchdowns. But we're going to have to see as the season develops who between the two of them are better players. But I still think it's going to be Joe Burrow. Yeah, actually, for me, I'm giving it to Justin Herbert just because Justin Herbert's played some of the best quarterbacks ever in the league. I mean, he's played Tom Brady, he's played Patrick Mahomes, he's played Drew Brees, and he stood toe-to-toe -to -toe toe -to -toe with, with every single one of those guys and really should have won those games. Two of them, I think, gave up 17-point leads. His kicker lost in the game. He just came off a huge lead but lost to the Broncos last week. And I feel people just overlook him just because of the record. I mean, they're both in garbage records, so neither of them could be overlooked that much. <coughs> I feel like people don't see how close and how much um, Justin Herbert actually put him in a position to win, and it wasn't him that lost those games. And yeah. I think he deserves more wins under his belt meaning he deserves more credit also, but he doesn't get it because he never got a win. So for me, Justin Herbert, because I see through the record, and I'm going to give it to him. Yep. Um, a good Another name to mention, uh, you mentioned him earlier, Chase Claypool. Uh, I don't think he's going to win it, but I think he's going to get better as the season go on, goes on. He didn't do much the first few games, but after he had that four-touchdown game, he had another game with a touchdown, I believe, and he's been steadily growing. I think he's going to end up being pretty a pretty valuable part to that Steelers team as the season goes on. Yeah, so so between Burrow and Herbert, another quarterback kind of in the running, Tua. Yeah. Um, just there's a lot of hype around him. Not in a bad way. He just got his first start and his first win. Congrats to him. Uh, his stats right now are, are just beginning, really, yeah. really weak stats. But yeah. just because he's a rookie, he was a star in college. It's, uh, it's safe to mention him, but I don't think he's going to yeah. get it. I do think he has a... Strong chance if somehow the Dolphins end up in the playoffs. Yeah. And then two of those great are great great between, form. between San Diego or LA Chargers and uh, Cincinnati, neither of those teams are going to be in the playoffs. Yeah, exactly. The Dolphins have a shot, so, so that's a good point. But it's yeah. just too late, in my opinion. Yeah, I would say that to a. Uh, I think the reason we have him up here is because he has the potential to be in this lit, like yeah. in this running. Yes. He, he hasn't he has the, shown yeah. yet, but he has the potential. Um, I think if I had to give the rookie of the year to a non quarterback, I would say right now, Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Guy's been balling for the Chiefs right yeah, now. Plays for the best team in the league. Yeah. He's got the third so. most rushing yards. Just yeah. not in general. Yeah. Just in general. Yeah. 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 He's been outstanding for the Chiefs. Um, 
really, you know, putting himself on the map. And then as far as the wide receiver core that you just named, mm -hmm. um, for me, it's Justin Jefferson. Okay. He's been balling That's out for the Vikings. Um, really talented guy. Um, and I think one interesting point that um, you brought up is that both of these quarterbacks here on the top, Herbert and Burrow, uh -huh. they're just they, – they benefit – they're not, not benefit, they actually do the opposite. They suffer from the fact that they are playing outstanding, mm -hmm. and I think that – yeah. Both of them have good weapons. I mean, I think Burrow's got, you know, weapons on the outside. I mean, he's got AJ Green. He, you know, he's got Boyd. Tyler Hit Boyd. He's got T. Higgins. He's got all these talented guys. And then you look at Herbert. He's got Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, all these talented receivers. Just their defenses and their, you know, they just always let them down. They let mm -hmm. their quarterbacks down, and I think that's really, you know, suffering for them. Because if not for them, like if they had. Talented defenses like you know Tom Brady has had for all his career, yeah. then they would be having a lot more success right now. So I think that's something to consider, and they're they're just <clears throat> both going to be stars in this league. And in my opinion. really, like Greg and Wade said, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, he's at third um, most in rushing yards this season, and really to be that high on such a pass heavy team with the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes, that's insane. I mean, if he was getting the amount of carries like Derrick Henry was, he might be leading the league. And he might be leading the rookie of the year case. Really, if he was on a different team and got more carries, I think he would be the leader over both the quarterbacks. So really, he's making great out of out of the carries and the. the uh, you got to think about how right now. how good his offensive line is, though. I don't know if he's on another team with a worse offensive line mm -hmm. than the Chiefs have. There's a chance he doesn't do as well. Uh, I think his situation is helping him in some ways, but also yeah. hurting him in other ways. Like you mentioned, they're a very pass heavy team. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely it's a real fine line. Yeah. yeah. All right, so um, final picks around the table. Quarterback, I still give it to Burrow, but if it's going to be a non-quarterback position player, I'm going to say Clyde edwards Yeah, I'm going to stick with Justin Herbert. I don't think things going to be close between the quarterbacks in different positions. Mm -hmm. Greg, yeah. so what you got? So I'm going to roll with the same picks you got. Okay. edwards Hilaire, non-QB. My actual Roy is going to be Joe Burrow, but okay. it could change depending on how the season plays out yeah, and yeah. how the you know, numbers shape up, who plays better. Let's just see. I mean, hopefully their offensive lines can protect them because, uh, especially for Burrow, he's been suffering from a bad O-line. But yep. right now, he's in my lead right now. Sounds good. All right, 21. 21.